<laughs> we are one month away, though, from the total solar eclipse, a natural phenomenon we will not see again until the 2040s. Yeah, Hampton Roads will be part of the viewing area, but how much will we really see? Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson and Meteorologist Ricky Matthews are both live on Patio 10 with a look through Telescope 10. Tell us all about that. Yes, we're looking through Telescope 10 tonight because we're ex getting excited one month to go to the eclipse. April 8th. It's going to be a Monday and yes. it's going to occur in the afternoon. So if you're making your plans, maybe call in on that Monday already. Uh, but it's going to be an exciting day across much of America. We will not be in the path totality here, which means you're going to have to have these eclipse classes for the entire eclipse. Yes. Don't take them off in our area because it protects your eyes just like the solar filter you have on Telescope 10. Yeah, you can see that mirror that's in front of the telescope that's the solar filter so that when we can see here now the view that you have on the graphic it's so fuzzy because the clouds are too thick so we really can't see the sun anymore but we can still see it and you can put my hand in front of it it gets a little bit dim even so think of a solar filter as the glasses over your eye if you have binoculars you want to see the sun with those binoculars need a solar filter before they go up to your face the glasses do not protect your eyes if the uh, binoculars do not have a filter on them because remember you're magnifying the sun so just remember filter first then to your eyes. Yep. Very important. So let's talk about where you are going to want to travel to if you perhaps have a slightly better chance of having less clouds that day or if you want to see the path totality. That's going to be in parts of the southwest United States. Texas historically has the lowest chance of cloud cover on April 8th. Of course, weather patterns depict that. Uh, climate is an average over time. Weather is a one day thing. So. If you're going to travel that path totality, keep in mind, weather could vary that day. Closer to home, you can travel to Ohio, parts of uh, Illinois, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, and also Illinois, <coughs> excuse me, and those are some of the closest spots where you can see totality. Yeah, easy spots to drive to if you want to. If you want to fly, you can go to those other spots, maybe Texas perhaps, or you can go towards Maine if you want to go into those locations. We saw the average cloud cover. Remember, that's just the average, so I'll keep you up to date on those clouds as we get a little bit closer to that. For us, once again, we're not going to be in the path of totality, meaning that we need the glasses the whole time. 78% of the sun will be blocked by the moon. It'll look similar to that. Let's get into our forecast now for the rest of the night. We have the clouds that are off to our west. These clouds are going to continue to thicken up as we go into tonight. We have the rain that's trying to move in too as we go into the rest of the night. Ricky, you can continue to advance those graphics. Someone's in a hurry. All right, uh, there's the rainfall that's off to the west. We do have a risk to maybe see some stronger thunderstorms Saturday towards the end of the day as the front gets closer. Let me show you that on future track. So here's the rainfall. Starting in the morning on Saturday, we'll have the rain moving in. So tomorrow morning, we'll have rain. We'll have rain all throughout the day tomorrow. One o'clock, we have the rain. 5.30, not as much but still some scattered showers and maybe some sprinkles, chances for rain in the evening. And then into Sunday, we're looking good. We'll finally have a long stretch of dry weather coming starting on Sunday and going into the future. Here's a look at the rainfall totals that we might see. Remember, if we get thunderstorms that develop, we could see these totals jump up to an inch. So there's still a chance we could get an inch plus of rain on Saturday. Here's our temperatures into tomorrow. We can skip ahead to the seven day actually, Ricky, uh, okay. because we're going to see not dry weather tomorrow. We'll have a good chance for some rain across our area. Here's your seven day forecast and look at all of that sunshine. We're going to see sun starting Sunday into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Better use for the telescope to look at the sun then as we'll have some more sunshine and hopefully ha we'll have sunshine on April 8th for that solar eclipse. We'll have more reminders as that gets closer. Remember, you need to get your glasses now. They do have these for sale at some of the big box hardware stores and some of the outdoor store out for outfitter shops so you can get these. I'll send it back to you.